Yeah, that's fine. Well, okay. Here we go. 16,180. We've got the monster. Best of luck. We had none loose. Let me think for a second. We've got number 25, Tyler Myers for Buffalo. I thought they were all in the big boxes. The big, big random ones? Yeah. Check those. Check one of those out. They might be in there. Oh. Number to 49, Bobby Ryan. Anaheim Ducks Spotlight. We have Mega 1617. And a blue of Giroux for the Flyers. Yeah, but those ones aren't like, yeah. Yeah, like we recently got some back. And the other thing, KZ, and again, I, you know, I, I do think they should change it for the high end, high end stuff. But there absolutely is sometimes also you might get like a football card in there. As a replacement. Those ones kind of annoy me, but I understand it. Again, something is better than nothing. Young Guns, Jason Robertson for Dallas. And a Dazzlers of Stone for Vegas. We have a couple that we uh, we sent in one for a customer. And I'm pretty sure it was like a McDavid Ultimate Autograph. Which now sells for like $4,000. And he got a Tarasenko future watch auto in return. And in my opinion, that's where that should be taken care of differently. Soderstrom, Young Guns for the Coyotes. I think it's hard to call the customer and be like, you got a $90 future watch for your $5,000 card that you didn't get. And a portrait, rookies of Bellows for the Islanders. So the main reason why is they go by Beckett value, KZ. And the Beckett value on the Tarasenko, I believe, is 250 Which is the basically the value they generally aim for on the high end. They don't give you that much better generally. The, the only fine-tuning I would have for that entire program is just... When people send in the little higher end cards. Patterson, victory for Vancouver. I think they just got to be a little more aware of trying to make them a little happier. Again, not saying give them a $5,000 card in return. But I feel like just be a little more aware of what you're giving them. Young Guns for Winnipeg of Logan Stanley. Matthews Tribute for the Maple Leafs. Reflection of Stutzel for Ottawa. Ha or NHL Best Holographics. Matthews for the Maple Leafs. I honestly am surprised still people use that. Young Guns of Bischoff for Vegas. Like in today on in today's world of how fast trades are and how fast it is to look up on eBay. What? Okay. Well, I guess so. Guess we have to. Boo. Well, what does it say we have left of them? Or is that the last one? No. And that's my thing, Rich. Right? Like you definitely can find other autographs of like a McDavid. Or even a Gretzky that's significantly less value. But I'm saying you're making the customer walk away and feel a lot better. And don't get me wrong, I understand you don't have to match your value for value. I can't see, just tell me the number. 300, okay. Dazzlers of Monaghan for Calgary. Yeah, that's fine, Let's open it up. Yeah, that's fine. You got that upstairs or no? Marky Rookie for the Caps of Alexiev. Sorry, is that the right thing or is not the right thing? This is the right thing. So you got that upstairs or no? I don't know. Did you get that one from upstairs? No. Okay, so then open it up. It's fine. It's fine. 
Braden Shen, canvas for the Blues. DeRosier for the Panthers, Young Guns. That's fine. Portraits for the Coyotes of Soderstrom. And that's what I'm saying, Casey. I think most people do. Award winners for the Avalanche of McKinnon. Or I think a lot more people do now. I said, I feel like the Beckett pricing is pretty out of touch. Ty Della Andrea, retro rookie. Marky rookie for Dallas. Yep. Young Guns of Lawrence for the Kane. Just put it on top. Sure. We've got a canvas for the Ducks of Ricard Raquel. Ricard Raquel. But yeah, Rich, that would be my only kind of honest leg I think they need to do a bit better job on. Crafts of Glossy for the Rangers. Ty Della Andrea Glossy for Dallas. Gold for the Rangers of Crafts of. And the only reason I say that, honestly, and again, I, I want to do state 1,000%. I do think they're at least being very, very generous of giving you guys something rather than nothing. I do like that. My only worry is that when products become older, if a guy wants to spend money on it, I think it's a big punch to the gut to tell that guy who just bought a box maybe for like $2,000 that he can't get his $2,000 card, but here's your... $80 card. I think that's a little unfair, but... Portraits for the Sharks of Hurdle. Young Guns for Montreal of Flurry. The other one that, uh, I'll tell you guys another fun story that I wasn't very thrilled with. Canvas of Tarasenko for the Blues. So we had an expired redemption for a customer. He got a Pasternak 90, or 249 in cup. Sabrin, Young Guns for Ottawa. And it literally was the exact time that Upper Deck announced that the Pasternak just came in. So I messaged him immediately. Domi for the Habs portraits. I said, hey, we just got a guy open one of these from the cup tin. I was like, do you mind? Like, can I just literally, you guys are getting him in. I know you guys are getting him in. And they said no. Shooting stars for the Habs of Carey Price. So stuff like that kind of aggravates me, to be honest. But Paling, a rookie for the Habs. Zadina, bronze for the Red Wings. Max Jones, glossy for the Ducks. So those kind of things, I just think that you have a very good opportunity to make a customer really, really happy. And obviously a customer who's buying cup is not exactly a small-time customer. I don't like when they uh, say no to that. I guess. But again, just small things that I wish got a little better. Canvas for Carolina of Kruger. Kevin Waugh, Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks. Portraits of Rosen for the Maple Leafs. Well, even just small things golden, though, is like Marky Rookie Retro of Butcher for the Devils. Losing a big, big spending customer is a lot worse. Marky, rookie of Mete for the Habs, than losing several small collectors. And I know it's not obviously a nice thing to say, but I'm saying that big guy is obviously buying some big stuff. I have follow Young Guns for the LA Kings. And thus, it's probably going to advertise and, you know, be around for all the big boys. Dvorak, canvas for the Coyotes. And what I mean by that is, like, buy the Cups, buy the Premiers, buy the Ultimates. Marky Rookie of Sanheim for Philly. Portrait of Owen Tippett for the Panthers. 
Brandon Lemieux. Young Guns for the Jets. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Mirna for the Avalanche. And a Marky Rookie for the Avalanche of Kerfoot. Especially the one that I would say I can maybe understand one offs, for example, like one offs on uh, there's this rare McDavid auto, there's only one in there. Sure, that's fine, whatever. But it's like in 1617 when Matthews is a redemption. And you're basically telling anyone who spends, like, right now, I think those boxes go for about 700 bucks. You literally cannot get a hard sign Matthews in there. Like, think about that. And how many people don't know that? That's my other issue. How many people do not know that? Canvas of Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. And unfortunately, how much? How many people unknowingly buy those boxes at the six, seven, eight hundred dollars? Portraits of Carlson for the Caps. And then maybe to find out that the redemption they ain't going to get. Portraits of Eichel for Buffalo. Portraits of Velarde for LA. Young Guns for Vegas of Coughlin. You can, yeah, in 1718. <laughs> Dazzlers of Dre Seidel for the Oilers. Well, to be fair, that was only the, uh, you had a 50 uh, inscribed. Chesterkin canvas for the Rangers. Kuznetsov canvas for the Caps. Panarin, that would be a decent one. Game jersey for the Devils of Paul Mary. The best, honestly, redemptions for the expired redemption raffle, straight up, would be the cards that honestly book around 250. Because you're going to get something roughly the exact same value back. Bowen Byram. Young Guns for the Avalanche. And the funny thing is, Rich, I bet you can get a 17, 18 box. I know they're hard to get too. For probably a third of the price. Or half the price of the 16, 17. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of funny. Liam Foodie. Young Guns for the Blue Jackets. There's a chance. Shane Bowers, Young Guns for the Avalanche. Base. So much base. Portrait of McDavid for the Oilers. But again, it is nice to at least get something for nothing, right? For the most part. Joe Hansen for Buffalo Young Guns. Canvas for Florida of Yandel. And do not get me wrong, by the way, guys. I do not expect Upper Deck to have like an infinite quantity of like redemption uh, lifespan. There has to be an expiry date. For redemptions. <laughs> Alexia for the Caps. Young Guns. Uh, yeah, but see, so Leprechaun, I will, on the Artifacts one, I actually don't mind that at all because it's part of the, like, it's a fun way to get rookies for the future because the whole point of Artifacts is that it generally came out before uh, the season or around the start of the season when rookies haven't skated and it's a fun way to be like oh I'm gonna get the best rookie from that team 
So that I fully understand. I have no problems with that. Rookie of Karusha for the Hawks. Orange Slice of Kopitar for the Kings. Double Rainbow of Peyton Krebs for Vegas. Lilligren for the Maple Leafs. Blue Rookie. We've got a Black Rainbow. Stamp goes for Tampa. Grand Entrance of Cot for the Avalanche. Karushev Blue for the Hawks. And a Mikey Anderson for LA. I just don't like when the big name in the product is a redemption and they just go, oh, who cares? Velarde LA Kings, a red rainbow rookie of Connor McMichael for the Caps. Malkin iced out for the Penguins. Carlson Blue for the Hawks. And a rookie of Alexiev for the Caps. A black rainbow of Anders Lee for the Islanders. Red rainbow jersey of Hellebuck for the Jets. Blue of Burdin for the Jets. Like we had months ago, and this was months and months and months ago, we had a guy buy some 15-16 cup. Crafts off for the Rangers. Red rainbow of Yo Levy for Vancouver. Grand entrance of Bowen Byram for the Avalanche. We got an Alexiev blue for the Caps and a rookie of Evans for the Habs. And you gotta think, a guy spent like, I think $14,000 on two tins. Byram Avalanche rookie. Black Rainbow rookie of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. This is a good one. Grand Entrance Rainbow Auto Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram. Blue of Broberg for the Oilers. So when that guy gets a redemption, that's what bothers me. Because that guy just spent like 14 grand. You want to keep those guys happy. Rookie of Bodan for the Hawks. Red Rainbow of Ryan Suter for the Wild. City Selly of Philadelphia. Connect me. Blue of Hawk and Paw for the Ducks. Rookie of Geeky for the Canes. A Black Rainbow of Konechny for Philly. Grand Entrance of Robertson for the Maple Leafs. Bodan Blue for the Hawks. And a Rookie of Korshkov for the Leafs. Uh, Leprechaun, going on that, it would be impossible to do that. That's the problem. Being completely candid with you. Literally impossible to do. Because here's your only other option, and let me know if you like this better. Is it better to have Cup without the big names then? Or at least some of the big names? Would you take that over a redemption? So for example, let's say on a hypothetical, Gretzky and Crosby didn't return their autographs in time. You would rather them just not be in Cup? Super Stage of Anderson for LA. Joseph Renditions Jersey for the Penguins. Again, I'm just asking an honest opinion. We've got a rendition of Ottinger for Dallas. And a rookie to 499 Yellison for Calgary. Any insider information on cup release? Well, Rich, if I had any insider information on anything, I would not be able to share that regardless, right? We've got a super stage of Vanasik for the Caps. And number to 499, Kratza for the Rangers. Kratza for the Rangers. Super renditions of Robertson for the Leafs. And a rookie auto to 399 of Letanov. And Leprechaun, let's also use an example. The SBA 1617. They delayed that for three months. Renditions of Geeky for the Canes. And a 999 of Kivaranta for Dallas. So let's take the Matthews. He did not sign. So you're going to release 1617 SBA without Matthews signatures? Super stage of Colasar for Vegas. And a 499 rookie jersey. Stutzel for Ottawa. And Golden, that is a 100% very big point that I think a lot of people have to remember. It's the players not signing. It's not upper deck.
Why it works in any other sport? What do you mean why it works? Didn't LaMelo Ball not sign a whole bunch of cards? Literally the like the number one rookie <laughs> for Panini. That is absolutely a massive problem for every sport for the most part. I would actually argue Upper Deck probably has the least amount of redemptions in the last few years out of most of the companies. Game jersey of Reinhardt for Buffalo. I was say, Upper Deck has done a phenomenal, phenomenal job of being very light on the redemptions. Erickson Eck, Young Guns for the Minnesota Wild. Young Guns Canvas for the Blue Jackets of Zach Wierenski. Zach Wierenski. That's a good one, Young Guns Canvas. We've got a retro of David Backus for Boston. Portraits of Lekkanen for the Habs. Chow Chow. Larson Young Guns for the Anaheim Ducks. Spears Young Guns for the Devils. Braden Point, Marky Rookie for Tampa. Marky Rookie of Baptiste for Buffalo. And that's the thing, Rich, I think we all know, NHLPA ain't going to push the players to do anything for the most part. Taylor Hall for the Devils, Canvas. And again, not that I don't disagree with that. that they work for the players. Ekblad, Panthers, Canvas. If a superstar player does not want to waste his time doing something, they ain't going to force him to. Young Guns, Chase DeLeo for the Winnipeg Jets. Retro of Tyler Mott for the Hawks. Portraits Rookies of Stetcher for Vancouver. Marky Rookie Rainbow of Larson for the Ducks. The problem is, honestly, redemptions are such a polarizing topic for everyone. Portraits of Barzo for the Islanders. And there is literally no win situation for Upper Deck. Like, legitimately no win situation. Kapanen! Young Guns for the Maple Leafs. If they delay the product, people get mad. If they don't put the players in there, people get mad. If there's redemptions in there, people get mad. So, option number four. They don't produce autograph cards. Provorov, Marky Rookie for Philly. There is literally no other option other than that. Marky Rookie for Dallas of Honka. Canvas of Oshi for the Caps. And I'll give you guys even a further example of why I think it's hilarious sometimes. Rob O'Gara, Young Guns for Boston. The manufacturer uh, patches, team logos. Bjork Strand for the Jackets portraits. In Black Diamond, outsell a lot of the autograph content in there. Vanek for the Red Wings update. And then, at the end of the day, people still complain about manufacturer. Let me just focus on emptying the packs. Do you want me to be silent while I open them? You know, I can multitask. I am opening. Like, do I have to just open silently in between? We've got a rainbow of Dowdy for LA and an all mark for Buffalo. Always so picky everyone is. We've got a rookie of Fabry for the Blues. 
Team Logos, OV for the Caps, Panarin for the Hawks. Retro, Patrick Waugh for the Habs, Sam Bennett for Calgary. And we've got a base. But yeah, realistically, the Team Logos are a good example of those cards genuinely outsell. Oh, you already know. Well, apparently not everyone knows, Em. Apparently not everyone. And which is fine, a lot of people. I, You know what, Em, I will tell you though, on a day-to-day -day basis with customers in store, it legit, most people always blame Upper Deck on this stuff. I will tell you that. So I genuinely think a lot of people don't know. <laughs> We've got a two ninety nine for the Avalanche. Caught. Yeah, Casey, that was an annoying game. Toronto absolutely should have won that game. Two ninety nine Tavares for the Leafs. And sorry, I don't mean that they weren't outplayed. Toronto should have at four one shut that thing down. They played like crap. For the Oilers, the sixty five rookie patch of McLeod. Nice three-color patch for the Oilers. But realistically, Avalanche deserved that. What, what was the shots on, like, 47? 47 to, like, 25? For the Devils, Sharon Golvich. It's common. There's a lot of things, them that you would think are common sense, but people still get very upset with. Tampa Bay, Hedman Vasilevsky. Hedman Vasilevsky. And Tampa Bay Hedman. Like, don't get me wrong. Colorado's a beast of a team. They absolutely deserved the W last game, uh, last night. It's just frustrating that when you're up 4-1 and you are playing pretty well, you got to shut that thing down. You cannot let them do it. And, like, I, I think right now you have, in my opinion, the teams that I like the most are and again it's actually slightly changing because Pittsburgh is looking damn good I have Colorado Toronto and Carolina as kind of my three big favorites Sunset Olafson for Buffalo Kraftsov for the Rangers and again I do I'm not oblivious I know Toronto's got to get out of the first round blah 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 they suck but realistically for teams that look the strongest right now Cousins Marky rookie for Buffalo Rainbow and a Norris for Ottawa but I have Colorado as my favorite. Retro rookie of Burdan for the Jets. Byram Markey rookie for the Avalanche. I have the Leafs. Tampa you can never count out. Absolutely never can count them out. Thurkoff for the Blue Jackets Markey rookie. And a rookie auto. Ryan Lindgren for the Rangers. Ryan Lindgren. And the other thing with Colorado, in my opinion, they remind me of the Maple Leafs like three years ago where it's just a run-and-gun game. Colorado's defense is not very good overall. Pajot for the Islanders retro. But they win a lot of games like 6-3, 6-5, 7-3. Marky, rookie, rain, or sunset of Yo Levy for the Canucks. Foodie for the Jackets. So their style of play... I think it's super fun to watch as well, which is great. So I cannot wait to see them in the playoffs. Rainbow of Heart for Philly. Alexiev, Marky Rookie for the Caps. Like, even as I said, they're playing the Maple Leafs up 4 1. Even I'm sitting there going, it's Colorado. Just wait. Retro of Makar for the Avalanche. Aqua of JT Miller for Vancouver. You know what? The Panthers, I definitely don't overlook. I just, I don't know. I don't know if they have the complete playoff game type thing. Coglin, Marky, rookie for Vegas. Just, again, my opinion. Marky, rookie for the Oilers of Broberg. Sweet selections of Carlson for the Hawks. Cousins for Buffalo, Marky Rookie. But realistically, Colorado is my favorite right now to win the Cup. I think their team is just so damn strong. 
Best in the world, Crosby for Pittsburgh. Karusha for the Hawks. Rainbow of Besser for Vancouver. Last year when they, they lost to Tampa last year, right? What did what, they lose? Was that the, I can't remember that. Honestly, it went seven or if it was a sweep. Pavelski, Dallas Retro. McLeod for the Oilers, rookie. Retro, Reinhardt for Buffalo. Oh, Huberto's a beast, man. Hey, another one of these. I love these ones. Cosmic for the Flyers, JVR. JVR. Well, that, that is the honest problem with Colorado. If you do somehow shut down their offense, they're pretty much null and void. They are generally not going to win many 2-1 games. Rainbow Panarin for the Rangers. Lawrence for Carolina. And Vegas did do a great job. Vegas is the team that I think can take out Colorado. Retro Rainbow Rookie of Lawrence for Carolina. Kaprizov Marky Rookie for the Wild. Retro of Burns for the Sharks. Rainbow of Rene for the Preds. Ty Smith for the Devils. Marky Rookie. Maybe, maybe it's just me, like... But does anyone else have the feeling that this year is one of the best overall years of a lot of different teams could win? Couturier Rainbow for Philly. Baudin Rookie for the Hawks. Like, does anyone else honestly feel like I could give you a list of, like, eight teams and you could see it all happening? Sweet selections of Alexia for the Caps. Like, at least in my opinion, I feel like... I get to there and go Tampa, you can make a case for Tampa. You can make a case for Florida. You can make a case for Carolina, Vegas, Colorado, Maple Leafs. Right now, Pittsburgh. <laughs> the way they're playing. And I think that's exciting. Like, There's going to be some very good teams getting knocked out in the first round again. We've got a 299 Konechny base for Philly. Con We've got for the Hawks Alex Dabrinkat Jersey Yeah, Florida, yeah We've got a Jersey Obsidian Jersey for Dallas Of Ty Della Andrea Like, and can you really ever count Washington out either at this point with the team that they have? And that's a nice one. A base auto, Adam Fox. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great, thank you. Hope you're doing well as well. But that's what I love about this year. I just feel like there's a lot more... Like, a lot more... Bo yeah, I, I don't have Boston in my upper echelon, but yes, I agree, Boston is always... They're built phenomenally well for playoffs. So I do agree on that end that Boston's always a contender, but I don't have them in my upper echelon, Golden. I, I do think they would get beaten, honestly, by like the Tampas, the Floridas, the Leafs. I really do believe that this year. Hawk and Paw, prospects for the Ducks. And a foodie for the Jackets, rookie. We've got an all-star, Patterson for Vancouver, and a base auto, Bo Horvat, Vancouver. And by the way, I see a lot of emails are coming in. I'm hoping for spots. I'm more than happy getting any of the breaks filled, guys. Any breaks that are up there, let's crush them all. Barzel medal for the Islanders, and an all-star, Marner, for the Maple Leafs. Alloy of Sveshnikov, Aho for the Canes. Hagel, rookie for the Hawks. And an all-star Jari for the Penguins. Intimidation Nation of Stalock for the Wild. All-star of Eichel for Buffalo and a Velarde rookie. 
I feel like Eichel could absolutely have a crazy good breakout. Soderstrom prospects for the Coyotes. Slavin All-Star for the Canes. Byram for the Avalanche. McDavid net deposits for the Oilers. All-Star Fuse for Vancouver. Medal of Stammer for Tampa. Rookie of Soderstrom for the Coyotes. All-Star of Kachuk for the Calgary Flames. Intimidation Nation of Marc-Andre Fleury for Vegas. Joseph for the Penguins. Rookie. Fill all the breaks. I don't care what fills. All-Star of Konechny for the Flyers. And a rookie of True for the Sharks. And a PMG of Kopitar for L.A. L.A. PMG number 49. Nowhere close to his jersey number. I agree with you, Jeff. I, I think he's going to have a killer. Like, maybe not this year to get, a, you know, used to the team. Hardware of Keith for the Hawks. And a rookie of Karushev for the Hawks. But, like, you know Vegas is going to probably go deep in the playoffs. I feel like he's going to love that. Net deposits of Romanov for the Habs. All-star Petrangelo for the Blues. Kivaranta for Dallas. Has, has Buffalo made the playoffs in the last several years? Has he ever made the playoffs? <laughs> Benson prospects for the Oilers. Barzil for the Islanders. I just thought about that right now. Has Eichel ever been in the playoffs? Alloy of Huberto Barkoff for Florida. Rookie of Kip Lennox for the Jackets. Bertuzzi for the Red Wings. And a medal of Sorokin for the Islanders. And a rookie of Thurkoff for the Jackets. I legit can't even remember if he did make the playoffs or not. Buffalo's won a couple. That's the thing. I know they've won some lotteries. But I'm thinking, have they actually made the playoffs in the last, uh, what was it, seven years, six years? Woo, nice. Young Guns Auto, Dylan Strom for the Coyotes. He hasn't had a playoff game. Man, that's sad. Dylan Strom, Coyotes, Young Guns clear cut. It's a pretty strong card. That honestly is really sad, though. Statue. Two thousand eleven. Oh my god. Well, that's uh, that's pretty damn long. We've got for the Boston Bruins Pasternak. That's very very bad considering they haven't made the playoffs in like ten years, and yet they still have that team on the ice. Larson Coyotes. You would think they would at least built something decent by now. Good old Buffalo. We've got for the Oilers the 399. Joel Person. 399. We've got an LA Kings 149 Jonathan Quick. Green. Jonathan Quick Green. For the Tampa Bay Lightning to 45, Stamkos. Out of 45, Stamkos. Red esteemed. We've got for the Red Wings, 85, Giovanni Smith. Giovanni Smith. Autograph rookie to 109 of Grundstrom for the LA Kings. And an esteemed of Larkin for the Red Wings. Are they the longest uh, team uh, not in the playoffs right now? Longest reigning team without a playoff appearance? We've got a 149 Shabbat for Ottawa. For the 
the Anaheim Ducks to 225. Max Jones. 225. Max Jones Retro. We've got a very nice card. Rookie Ascents. Number to 65. Nick Suzuki. Suzuki out of 65 auto. Sick. And Nashville Rem Pitlick to 399. They are the longest drought, eh? And they still have an absolute garbage team. Freaking Buffalo. I think the Toronto Toronto Maple Leafs is the early uh, early two thousand tens, basically. Garbage team, pretty much for the most part after garbage team. But we got Matthews and Marner, so can't really complain. Matheson Young Guns for Florida. If I remember correctly, Matheson sometimes shows up with Mr. Matthews, does he not? Portraits of Burns for the Sharks. So I'm sure Tr whoever has Toronto right now is sweating. Saying, please, please give me an Austin Matthews. I hope I get a Matthews as well. It's nice when one card can pretty much just take over the entire break. Come on, baby. Yeah, the only thing is, though, Golden, I'll say, like, 1670 was exciting for Toronto. Shining stars for Minnesota of Ryan Suter. They at least put on an exciting, like, fun games. Essa Lindell, Young Guns for Dallas. Not Austin Matthews. Canvas for Buffalo of Ristolainen. And a Shining Stars Rainbow of Hedman for Tampa. Ah, uh, yeah, that is correct. But I think we at least had somewhat of a respectful team, is what I'm saying. We weren't like garbage. But yeah, I know what you're saying. I get it. I understand it. <laughs> that Washington series was one of the craziest and most fun series ever, honestly. So much like hype and excitement in that one. For the Carolina Hurricanes, four ninety nine. Brock McGinn, four ninety nine. Brock McGinn. They have the well. Every year they have the potential. They just blow it. That's a problem. And they keep losing to teams that go very far. <laughs> We've got a Goudreau to one fifty for Calgary. Because I might be wrong, but I think that Columbus loss was the only one that didn't make it past the second or first round. Whatever you want to classify that round as. I believe, right? I think everyone else made it to like the semifinals or finals. We've got for the Carolina Hurricanes again. Brock McGinn. Because I think Washington won the cup that year. Then we lost to, I think, uh, Boston who went to the finals. Shane Prince, Ottawa Senators, three ninety nine. Then we lost to obviously Montreal last year that went to the finals. Three ninety nine for the Blues of Fabry. Come on, McDavid, where are you? What the heck, base? Ooh, we got an ice for the Penguins. Ice 
Scripts of Derek Pouliot for Pittsburgh. Pouliot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've always run into like a team that makes it pretty damn far. Again, no excuse. You got to win if you got if you want to go. What the heck? Did you get the whole set of this guy today? And a Brock McGinn, nine ninety-nine. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. How old was uh was he? I feel like he wasn't that old. Or am I thinking of someone else? Super sad either way. Yeah, 65, jeez. That ain't too old. That's sad. They say how, Jeff, or hopefully, peacefully in his sleep. <laughs> so you can hope for. We've got a two forty nine Ottawa Senators, Craig Anderson. We've got number to 249 for the Penguins of Dominic Simone. 249, Dominic Simone. For the Carolina Hurricanes, 99, Victor Rask. Victor Rask. Ooh, that might have been a case hit. I honestly can't remember. But I think it actually was. I think it was. A one of a one. Printing plate autograph rookie. Patrick Line. Winnipeg Jets. One of one printing plate autograph, Patrick Laine. Damn. That's cool. And it's a, uh, I think it's a trilogy one. The Uncommon Auto Rookie. And a 249 Anaheim Ducks, Andre Kasha. Uh, 